uh, let's make uh, our game more interactive so when we press some when we press something some letter on the keyboard or when we use the mouse and let's make something happen on the screen so we write for event dot not for event in by game dot event dot get and then let's first print it print event so what is this doing this is basically getting every event that has is happening like when you press some key or when the mouse is moving and let's check it so now we see mouse motion event position 277 194 and let's press some key on the mouse button one mouse button down or let's press something on the keyboard H B V F R T and so on so let's narrow this one down and let's just get when we press a letter on the keyboard and nothing else if event dot type equals equals by game dot key down in this case print event and as we see when I have the mouse on it nothing happens I click on the mouse nothing happened and let's press the letter A on the keyboard and we see key down A key 97 let's press something else on the keyboard so let's narrow it even more let's detect only when we press the leg letter a or nothing else if event dot key equals by game dot k a print event and here i'm pressing a random letter on the keyboard nothing happens i press a and here we see event key down a so now that we detected this key let's try using it to simulate some movement so let's draw for example a circle by game dot draw dot circle where on the screen which color blue position let's say x position circle y position circle and radius let's say 30 pixel and let's define the x and the y position x position circle equals I want to draw the circle in the center of the screen so in this case it would be the width divided by 2 for the x and the height divided by 2 for the y so 600 divided by 2 and y position circle uh, 480 divided by 2 and let's see oh we got an error integer argument expect got float oh so the error is in this line because actually we are giving a float instead of an integer so let's see why let's print x position circle and print y position circle so we have 300.0 and 200.0 you cannot give a float because you cannot split the pixel 
so if there is 300 pixels you cannot say 150.5 pixel like if you want to draw something there it doesn't exist the pixel cannot be split so let's make this one an integer Int integer this one an integer this one the x and the y position and now it works and we see 300 and 240 so let's say that we want to move the circle on the left when we press the letter a so it will be x position cir circle minus or equals 5 let's see a a a it's working so each time we press the letter a the circle is been as being drawn I don't know if I did this I said this correctly but who cares uh, instead of the position 480 divided by 2 will be 480 divided by 2 minus 5 pixels each time we press the letter A and let's say that we want to move the circle on the right when we press the letter D and if event dot key equals by game dot k d x position circle plus or equals 5 and here we see a letter D and so let's say letter W to move it up and letter S to move it down and if event dot key equals by gain dot K W Y position circle minus or equals 5 and if event dot key equals by game dot k s y position circle plus or equals 5 let's check this one so w and it is going up and s and it is going down so be aware that when it is going up the y will be smaller so it's not plus but minus or equals to go up and plus or equals to go down let's see why so this is the screen where we have our game and let's say this is uh, the circle the center and this is the center point so there's a center point it's the width divided by 2 so on this one and then the y would be the height divided by 2 in this case it's 600 divided by 2 for the width so 300 x is 300 and uh, y equals 480 for from this one to this one it's 480 divided by 2 so 240 so 240 is all the position of this line and if we want to move it down so this y will increase so let's say for example we want to draw the circle here in this case the y position it can be something like 300 and if we want it to move to draw it for example here uh, 
we can say that the y position it can be 30 or 40 so the that's why when you go up it's less because it it's always getting closer to zero to this zero one and when you go down the number will go up so this is all for for now for this keyboard detection let's now check about the mouse so let's say or let's leave it this way for now and on the next video we are going to to check the mouse detection and something else let's see so see you in the next tutorial